the Dratec Vega 2865 L series, Vega 2866 L series, and the Vega 2927 L series routers come in both Wi Fi and non Wi Fi versions and all have an integrated LTE modem which accepts SIM cards from any of the major broadband service providers in Australia, such as Telstra, Optus, and Vodafone, as well as those in New Zealand like Spark, Two Degrees, and Vodafone. For supporter bands and other details, check out the links in the description below. Setting them up is very straightforward. On the back of the router, first remove the cover using a small Phillips head screwdriver. Inside you'll find two slots. The bottom slot is for the primary connection, and the top slot can take a second SIM to act as a backup connection if the primary connection goes down or is otherwise unavailable. Insert the SIM with the notch on the left hand side. And then replace the cover to prevent accidental removal of the SIM or dust getting in. Then attach the LTE antennas, these are the ones with cables, and they go on the two connectors towards the centre of the router on Wi-Fi models. Then log into the router and go to WAN General Setup. Click on the LTE WAN connection. Make sure it's enabled, then type in a display name. This can be anything you like, we'll call this one Optus LTE. Then under Line Condition Detection, select the mode as Ping Detect. Then click OK. Then click OK again to save the settings and reboot the router. When it finishes rebooting, go to WAN Internet Access. For the LTE connection in the pull down menu for access mode, select 3G 4G LTE modem DHCP mode. Then click on Details page. Click on Enable. Then enter the APN name for your ISP. In this case, we're connecting to Optus, so the APN name is Yes Internet. For other common APN names, click on the FAQ link in the description below or check with your ISP. Select Disable Auto APN and click OK. Now go to Online Status, Physical Connection to see if it has connected. Green text and a valid IP address indicates that it has. Other details here to show we're online include the uptime, TX and RX rates and information about signal strength and quality. We can also see more details under LTE status. We can run a ping test to check the quality and latency of the internet connection down under Diagnostics Ping Diagnosis. Simply enter an internet IP address and click on Run. After a few seconds we get the result and apart from that first one which will put down to a hiccup we see almost instant replies which is great. You can also run a ping test from your PC using command prompt. Just type in ping 8.8.8.8 or some other internet IP address or domain name and then enter. The replies here show a little more latency because of the extra hop between the PC and the router. And that's all there is to connecting a Draytech LTE router to the internet using a SIM. For more information please visit our website at www.draytech.com.au to contact us, please email sales at dretech.com.au or phone 02983888899. Please like and subscribe. You can also find us on Facebook and Twitter. Links in the description. Thanks and bye for now.